Hey everyone, in this video we're going to tackle thermal throttling issues and power limit throttling using throttle stop and MSI afterburner. So basically, what is power limit throttling and why does it happen? So first of all, power limit throttling is when the temps of the CPU gets too hot that the power delivery gets cut. And in my particular laptop model, the CPU isn't allowed to push more than 45 watts and the clock speeds go downhill and throttle. So how we're going to sort that out is uh, by using the thermal, uh, throttle stop and MSI afterburner, are we going to down clock, I mean under volt, both GPU and the CPU to get better results. So first of all, what you got to do is launch uh, this download. I will put the download link on my uh, below on my description there. And what you got to do is just open this up and we're just gonna adjust these values you're gonna have a different values so you just need to check and uncheck everything that's set here so bd will most likely be checked here make sure you uncheck this one c1e will be everything just like this and make sure he will have you you'll have a different value here just make sure to set it as zero and we're gonna go ahead and open up fiverr so once you're here in this menu, all you gotta do is to unlock the adjustable voltage. And in my particular model, I was able to push as far as 160. I might be able to go lower, but I just don't want to get a blue screen. In your particular low, uh, model, you need to find a sweet spot. You need to go lower and lower and lower until you find a sweet spot. And then you have to apply it for the CPU cache and the Intel GPU as well. Make sure this is unchecked so you can be able to be adjusted. And then, you will most likely have this checked on you have to do this make sure it's on the voltage apply and then once you do that hit apply and then if you want to make sure this values are set you can download this application and this a monitor um, your system as you can see here we are under voltage something in negative 164 see the voltage is currently applied so once that done what we're gonna do is <clears throat> we have to undervolt our GPU how you're gonna do so is you have to click control and F so in my particular model uh, 1060 you have to adjust this little graph to look just like this I will put the values here all you need to do is just to make adjustments here my graph is already set it has to be a straight line here and once that's set you're gonna make sure to save it as a profile so you don't have to do, to do this process every time it's a bit lengthy but once you set it down for the first time everything will be set to go and make sure it is once you click here you have to make sure this is checked this is to apply all the settings you've already assigned so this is how you undervolt your GPU and CPU this will mainly reduce our attempts in, during heavy gaming now this is just an example on Battlefield 5 power limit throttling. As we can see here, uh, the CPU is taking 45 watts, everything is smooth, but suddenly, all of a sudden, a massive ABS drops happen, and that's because of the thermal throttling. The CPU cuts the charger, the adapter, from pushing more voltage, and that caused all these FPS drops. And especially this happens because of the game is very intensive. We use both of CPU and GPU very intensively uh, because it's a poor hungry game, a CPU hungry game. We cannot do much about that. Now this is a gameplay after we undervolted both GPU and CPU. As we can see here, our GPU uh, clocks are very stable and that that means our undervolting is working and I will guarantee you that you will never have an FPS drops and the CPU and the GPU temps will be as stable as like it never in stock what we can conclude here is 
the i7 875H will thermal throttle and parallel throttle no matter what chassis you're using. Most of the laptops in this price range, even the Asus Zephyrus that costs $1,600, $1,700 will have a parallel throttling. And this is the only way you can avoid power limit throttling and thermal throttling and hovering around 75 to 80 degrees is pretty good while um, heavy use of GPU as a CPU at the same time for long sessions of gaming quality of life my friends it's very very nice thing but more importantly is to spend most of your time finding the sweet spot of your CPU to keep it under -volted. keep tweaking here and there that some of you will get better result than me mainly because we are running different pieces of hardware and please do not copy and paste my values because your laptop is different so you might have different values search online for your model and make adjustments accordingly and finally if you have any questions or comments feel free to ask and have a good one